Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fellsburn. Tell you, I think it is horsey day. Are picking up some more hay, obviously that we uh, cut here. Our oats are ready to harvest. Uh, there's absolutely no reason why we don't go ahead and pick up some horses today. Or to do that, though, I want to uh, I want to see if we can't get this. Obviously, this hay picked up. I want to try to get our hoats harvested. Try to get our straw picked up. And then we'll buy our horses. But I uh, do want to put down the horse paddock. Here, once I get the hay picked up here off of this uh, off this area. One, because I want to use the hay for the horses. And two, I'm thinking that if I don't get it up picked up, it may preclude me from being able to put down the paddock. I'm not really sure. Again, this rake that I used, it's just not working. Look at everything. I went over this whole area with the rake. At least once. Look at all this spots that it's missing. something about this little rake. Decent amount of hay off of this, given the fact that it's just giant's grass. Doesn't get fertilized, doesn't get, uh, doesn't get lime, doesn't really get any benefit just free grass but at the same time it doesn't doesn't all mow well spots right here on this side there's a spot over here on that side that is just it's just not getting cut I don't understand better than it was last time we mowed it when we had all of the uh, grass that we had driven over we're planting, fertilizing the field there. Still, let's just see. Let's just see if it's going to let us put this down. Although I'd really hate to. Uh, it's not like a lot of hay here, but. Not run over that. My OCD is going to be kicking in, and I'm going to be like, I can't leave little bits of hay lying around because I'll be annoyed at it. Probably be here all night trying to uh, trying to pick up this hay. You may notice down in the lower bottom corner. Got uh, the HUD looks a little bit different down there, and up in the upper left, I've got some information up there. I'm trying out a couple mods. Uh, they're still in beta. I don't want to put. I don't want to do a mod review on a beta mod. I kind of want it to uh, come out in a more full release before I. Uh, do a video on it, but basically I'm looking at upper left corner, a uh, inspect mod, vehicle inspect I think it's called, and then the lower right corner, uh, it's like a vehicle HUD info, it's called something like that. It's pretty good. Let's see if it will let us put down our ape or our horse pasture. Uh, we want a small horse paddock.
wonder if it's colliding with this tractor here. Move it out of the way. Certainly hope it's not colliding with that barn. Oh, that would so make me upset. Let's see. Can we put it down now? Spin it. Object. As soon as I get over here, it said, All right, it must be having problems with that dang grass. All right. Well, let's see if I can't get this grass picked up. I'll be back later. All right, so I think I got all the grass picked up now, so let's see. Paddock. Wrong button. That'll let me fifty thousand and seven. Left control Q. Or fifty thousand and six or fifty thousand and seven. Oh, let's put it down. And we got our horse area all right now I said I probably wasn't going to haul horses with the trailer uh, simply because the horses well let's see here gray chestnut a black done a pair of pintos Three hundred dollars, six hundred dollars to haul two horses. Um, you know, if we were going to lease that trailer, it was going to be a heck of a lot more money than that. Let's just get one, okay? Because I want to see how much food this thing's going. This guy's going to need. So we got our one horse. Go up here. I made a deal. I made a deal when I saw 19 came out and could name our horses. First horse I was going to buy, I was going to name Jordan. That's in honor of the young man who died of cancer while he was working with Map Maverick. It came out right before 19 came out, Jordan's map. So, hold him. I was going to basically have a uh, horse. Named in his honor. I told Maverick that. He thought the family would like it. Joran. Welcome home to Felsburn. How many straw? We got hay. We got 30,000 liters of hay. So let's fill this up. And see how much hay this horse is going to take. Three thousand or too bad. Let's see here. Thirty five hundred liters for one horse for ten days. All right.
go back here and dump this in. get our oat. Remember that we got from the harvest of that other field off of contract. And let's just see how here. That. Remember we're leasing the loading wagon there. The less that I'm hooked up to it the better. We got 3,100 liters of oats see this is going to take all of our oats it indeed almost full 3100 liters of oats let's leave that here Let's go get the, uh, let's go get an animal trailer, or water trailer. And we also need to, uh, talk to the shop about leasing a, uh, harvester. Don't have the money to buy a harvester. Let's go see what we can get. I'm going to try to get water out of this pond over here. See if the guy that owns that field will, that land will let us use his, his pond. And while we're down here, let's take a, uh, take a look at getting this tractor repaired. You can see it's pretty low on the, uh, on the maintenance gauge. I've been looking at this, trying to see, figure out where the, uh, the scratches and dents and stuff are and I'm not really noticing you much other than absolute dirt so let's repair this and just see how it might change it's only half so let's go ahead repair $553 doesn't look much better all right, let's go to trailers and animals. And we're going to go ahead and get this Joskins water trailer. We're going to lease it, okay? Because it's $9,500 to buy it. It's $95 a day to lease it and $475 an hour. It's going to take, what, 10, 100 game days to make up. For uh, releasing, just using the per day charges, because remember we're only getting charged as we've we're hooked up to this. If we're not hooked up to it, then we're not getting charged. The amount of time we're going to be hooked up to this thing is pretty minimal. Minimal. Head on down here and see if we can't uh, make use of this water. Looks like we've got a boat launch or something here. All right, filling it up, deal. So yeah, I kind of like the uh, vehicle HUD info down there. Uh, I think that's the name of it. It's over at Mod Hoster. I want to keep an eye on it. And once it, uh, once it comes out of beta, we'll put a mod review out on it. Basically shows me the name of the fill type. Got the fill icon. Got the percent of fill. I've got the fill level, maximum it can hold. And I've got the uh, the amount that's currently in it. And then up there in uh, vehicle inspect, I've got that this is full. 
red. It says full. Water, 7,300, 100%. It's red. That'll kind of help. Oops, there we go. Dump water in. There we go. 50 liters of water. Okay. Let's look at our harvesters. Well, we could go with the Bison Super. 62, 67, 20, $840 a day. Go with TX32, $1,000 a day, $500, $5,000 an hour. Nova. Uh, got Axle Flow. I think I'm going to go with the Rottle Smash. It's 10,500 liters. No. Nova. I'm going to go with the Nova. Basically, it's that. PS500, the 5700. Let's look at our headers. Sorry. All right. And we're going to uh, up to our tipper here. Little Nova three thirty. And on our beacons, run up to the uh, field. Unfold this thing and just see what it looks like. Folded. Well, I guess there isn't any unfold action. Just uh, turn it on, huh? Get hit by anybody. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we get as far as yield. No, oats are kind of a bad yielding crop in game for no apparent reason. So let's see how bad the yield is on our oat field. A little bit. Hey there. Got the straw swath. It's good. All right. Well, let's see what we get as far as yield. I'll be right back. That didn't take long. We're just about done the field. Uh, we've emptied the harvester one time. It's getting close to full. Went ahead and emptied it into the, actually into directly into the feed trough. Uh, we were able to feed it right on in there. And then we uh, came back here and it looks like we are not going to quite fill up the harvester a second time. One in a partial pass. Then we will 
Just return the harvester. It's going to be a few game days between harvest. Actually, I just—I guess I need to look at the math. I need to look at what it costs to lease this harvester and header today, and then what it's going to charge me per hour or per day to keep it. Um, and basically, see how many days would I have to keep it before getting rid of it and releasing it would make sense. If I flip it right away and send it back, I'm still out that that initial charge. If I keep it, then I'll get charged per day for the lease. But I won't get charged any hourly usage until I run up a whole hour on it. I've got 0.2 hours on the harvester right now. I've got, you know, four more harvests till, till I get a one whole hour on this thing. So that seems pretty good. Turn this off. Come over here to our tipper. And let's take a look at this leasing. Leasing cost. Because I think it might be just as cost worthy to actually just keep it. At the farm. You know what? We can maybe do some small harvest missions with this. Take a look. Header. Header's going to cost me $320 a day. And it costs me $2,500 to lease it. So some some number of days, maybe eight days. Um, putting this for eight straight days would be the $2,560 ish. And this is a thousand fifty a day, and it's eighty four hundred. So that's another eight days. If I if I can do two more harvests in that eight days, okay, then I will have basically earned keeping this thing around. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this over here to our shed. Work it. Right. Now. Do not have a silo. Seven thousand eight hundred thirty-six liters of oats. Because we put 3,500 liters of oats in our animal area. You can see we got 3,500. 3,500 full. We have 350 water. All we need now is straw. Let's go pick up a load of straw here. And deliver it. Let's see how much straw we picked up. got a I've got a feeling well I know if uh let's see we own this tractor for five days and we bought this tractor the first day we're here um thing so that means basically we didn't plant this field first time first day I don't, I don't think so if we get about it's not four game days per to harvest, it's something less than that. Maybe three. Let's see. So basically, I think we're going to be able to get three, three harvests off of this field before we have to feed our horses again. 
And if we've got um, 7,000 in the trailer, and we got 3,500 there, now we only had about 1,100 liters, 2,000 liters. I have a whole lot from that other harvest. So, it probably support three horses. Off of this little field as far as the oat production goes. And we're not going to be able to support three horses with the amount of grass that we've got. Thankfully, we've got... Well, thankfully, we've, we've got a little bit of a stockpile of hay, which is a good thing. This is where the straw goes. Like, like, next to nothing. 700. Let's pick up a couple more horses here. And horses don't reproduce at all. So, let's see here. Let's pick up these. And let's pick up one. Now we got three horses in our paddock. Yeah, so I guess that's going to do us for today. Come back, we'll be uh, need to do a little training on our horses and see about fertilizing that field and getting it flipped. And ready for a seed again. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think of the series so far. Any ideas or suggestions you might have with things that we should maybe do. And until next time, guys. Happy farming.